Hi friends, welcome back to my channel. In today's video we're going to be painting this um, galaxy with Neptune. Um, this is a really fun painting um, for all levels, so if you're a beginner this is perfect for you. So get your painting supplies and let's get straight into the video. I'm painting sort of on a square sheet today. This is an off cut from an Arches. I will have the size down below but if you don't have this size or if you don't have a square piece of paper just paint it on a um, portrait size paper so just a paper that's going vertical and it's going to look fine got cold press cotton paper i've got masking tape all on the outside because we're going to be doing a lot of wet on wet i've got a flat brush to wet my page i have a size six round brush and then a size four mop brush I'm going to link all the supplies in the description box, but I'm just quickly going through it here. I've got some white gouache, this is for our stars um, and the planets as well. And then I have my Winsor & Newton palette and I also have my Art Philosophy uh, Currents palette. So you're going to need a jar of water, something that is circle that you can um, draw around for our planet and then also some masking fluid. So we're going to get straight into it and I'm going to take my circle shape pot and I'm going to place it just around here. Then taking a pencil, this doesn't have to be a specific type pencil, I'm just going to lightly trace around the circle like so. Taking your masking fluid. If you don't have masking fluid, what you want to do is you want to do the painting and just obviously leave this area completely dry up until the very end. So I'm just taking a very old brush that I use for masking fluid and I'm going to start filling out the circle until that's all done. Okay, so I finished applying the masking fluid I took a hairdryer and just um, I just blow dried it until it's sort of tacky there's a little bit here that's still a bit wet but it's fine I'm just gonna sort of go around it slightly until it's completely dry so I'm gonna go in with my water and I'm just going to wet the entire page first we're just prepping our paper, making sure that it is all nice and covered. So that is nice and wet. So I had a look online at some pictures of galaxies and things like that. Um, so I found one that I quite liked. I'm going to start off with some yellow first of all. I'm just going to place a little bit of yellow over here and a little bit underneath on this side. There isn't too much yellow, but just enough. So maybe just do a few splats of yellow as well. And then I'm going to swap and go in with a bright pink. I'm going to say it's carmine. I'm just going to start placing some pink over there and just pink here as well also a little bit over here it's sort of like this picture that I'm using as reference it has sort of these really dark spots and then just sort of around it some color comes through and I just think it looks really cool just kind of Placing my colours where I think it would look good. Maybe draw some sort of like spiral lines. Might just go in with my spray bottle. And just re wet my page slightly. It seems to be drying quite fast. I'm just going to add some 
some line to the whistling that always makes Okay, and then we're going to now go start in with our blues. So going to the Art Philosophy palette, I've got this really beautiful bright blue colour. I'm just going to start putting it in sort of towards the middle of the page. I'm doing this all wet on wet. Just sort of, you know, playing around with the colour. So I know it looks quite odd now, but we've just, we're going to trust the process on this one. That's what we're going to do. And then I'm going to start going in with, I'm going to start to darken my blues. So I'm just going in my palette and you know, you don't need to use the exact colours I'm using, whatever palette you have, just take the blues, the greens that you can find and just start sort of, you know, placing them around. So now I'm going to start filling up those edges wherever there isn't any colour. So this is going to be our dark part of the galaxy. We want to do this quite quickly because you want to do this all while everything is still wet. You want to get all these colours mixed before they dry. Otherwise they're not going to blend and then it's going to look odd once it dries. You want to work quite quickly. Okay, now don't worry if this looks blotchy to you, we are going to go in with a second layer, it's just about placement of colour at the moment. Maybe add a few. dark spots and I hear where we want sort of space to have a bit of you know darkness to it and take a blue mix it in with a little bit of pink to get a nice purple colour because purple just looks more it gives off this sort of black when it dries compared to blue as you can see as I'm just putting it down it looks slightly more neutral than blue does whereas blue is more vibrant I'm just going to bring that towards the edge of the page. Okay, so we're going to let this to dry completely before we go in and start our second layer. Okay, so now that the first layer has dried, you can see that it, it dries quite light compared to how it looks when it's wet. So this is why with galaxies, it's always a good idea to sort of plan a second layer so you can make it as dark as you want. So I'm going to take now my flat brush. I'm not going to put too much water. I'm just going to dab it on my hand, make sure that there isn't too much. And I'm just going to brush it very quickly and only once over my painting. This is just to 
reactivate the page so that when we go in to apply the colors they're going to blend beautifully again this is quite something you have to do quickly it's kind of this is the tricky part with watercolor it's very time sensitive my paper's warped so even though it's cotton it has warped but it's fine we're gonna okay I'm just gonna stop because I'm gonna start moving around the paint so quickly going in I'm gonna start with any sort of like colors that we want to re oh, you see it's dried this is the tricky part it's okay we will Just gonna check here yeah, it's definitely where we've already applied water it dried up so I've got to didn't put enough water well that's fine we are learning as we are going things never happen the same twice okay I can also see a puddle of water color over there okay I think this is wet now so let's hope that there we go. So I'm just going to re sort of saturate the lighter colors. I just want them to be a bit more visible. Okay, then I'm going to go in. I think I'm going to leave the yellow. I'm happy with it not being any uh, darker than it is. I do want that to be quite light. So I'm just going to go in with my pink now and I'm just going to re-apply that in some places. I don't want everywhere to be sort of dark pink. Just where I think it's gonna look good. Okay, I'm gonna stop there and now we are going to start to go in with a very dark blue because I want our um, background to be quite dark I'm going to go with a tube because they tend to be more concentrated so I'm going to mix Payne's Grey and Prussian Blue together to give us the sort of dark colour that we, we want I'm just going to take it straight from the tube usually I always work with pans but because we really want to get that deep color, then if you have tubes, I definitely recommend to use them for your galaxies. You can just see we don't need to do much and the color is just very concentrated. All the way here as well and now as you can see because the paper has warped it's actually taken a lot of color off so what we're gonna do you're gonna take any old cloth that you have you're going to dry the excess water on your brush and we're going to start lifting off color and the color that was there previously on the first layer is going to shine through so we're going to get this beautiful vibrant colors coming as we lift out the color from underneath. Whilst all of this is drying, I'm going to begin to remove the masking fluid. And I'm just gently rolling it with my finger from a clean space. And then I'm just going to slowly start lifting it upwards. So 
I have removed all the masking tape. Um, so we're going to go in and paint our planet. So for today's planet, I wanted to paint, um, I think it's Neptune, because this is a really vibrant blue um, planet from the picture I, sh I saw. Um, so I'm going to take that light blue that we sort of started with, and I'm just going to, at the edge, sort of just leaving a tiny white space, I'm just going to start painting this in. The paper is dry, so don't worry about that. And I'm just sort of going to drag that colour. And then I'm going to take a sort of darker blue, some of that Prussian blue. Right, and I'm just going to put in sort of lines like so and then kind of blend it all together and we want the planet to get very dark towards the back so then I'm going to go in with that Payne's grey and I'm going to really darken the edge and then go back in with that Prussian blue Okay, I'm just going to keep it nice and simple. I'm going to swap back to my size 6 with the blue. I'm just going to blend. If it's not bright enough, I'm just going to go in with my white gouache and correct so you just get you get that really nice highlight around the planet okay, and then lastly we're going to add our stars you're just going to place whatever cup you used and then taking your white gouache you're going to pick it up with your brush, take a pencil or a pen and just start adding some stars by tapping and then where we have these sort of two large you know any white large big stars i'm going to take my size six brush and we're going to add in some sort of i think northern stars with some larger stars that are shining And then if you see, if you want to do like a shooting star, you just sort of take it, take a white star and then just flick your pen at an angle and that way you've got yourself a shooting star. So now for the reveal, let's see. If our edges are clean, I'm 
Mm, there we go. Found our little And there you have it, our finished um, Neptune Galaxy painting. I hope you really enjoyed today's video. Please give this video a like and subscribe and I'll see you in the next video.